Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is how to use green screen video in Canva. So we're going to talk about that and more today. Let's get started. All right, so here on your homepage, depending on what you're trying to create, you can click on custom size right over here to input the desired dimensions of what you want to create. You can also go to the Create a Design button and input the type of design you want to make. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to type here YouTube video, for example. And I'm going to click on this one. But you can type in anything you want here and um, results will show up. And yeah, just click on what you want to create. So we're going to be taken to the editing page. It's just going to take a couple of seconds to load up. So we're going to wait for it. And here it is. In order to um, remove the green screen of something, of course, we need a video to work on. So if you want to use your own video, you can go to the uploads section. Go to videos. And then from here, you can... Uh, choose whichever video you'd like to edit. But as for me, I'm going to go to the upload files section because I haven't uploaded my video yet. I'm going to click on this one. By the way, this is a sample green screen that I got from, I think, either Pixabay or Pexels. Those are my two favorite places to get um, stock photos or even stock videos because they're absolutely free. Okay, and we're going to click on our video and we're going to replace the background. To do that, we can either resize or we can click on this button and then set video as background. And let's try to play it. There you go. So that will be uh, what we're going to use for today's video. Now, in order to remove its green screen, you can do this. Um, you can go to edit video and you can click on background remove. Okay, and it's done. Let's try to see if it worked. Okay, I think it's really, really laggy. And I'm really sorry about it because I think my PC cannot, unfortunately, handle this tool. It does require a lot of power from your PC in order to uh, successfully edit and play this. But yeah, that's how you remove the um, background for your video in Canva. And if you like, we can also show you how you can create your very own green screen in Canva and then edit it on another software of your choice. So we're going to get started. Of course, we're first going to add a green background to our page right over here. I'd like to use this background, um, this shade of green, I mean. And now we're going to go to the element section. And we're going to look for animated elements that we can use. Uh, say, for example, we're trying to create a, a subscribe button. So let's try to search for that here. Subscribe. Oh, sorry. Subscribe. And we're going to click on uh, see all under the graphics category. So we're going to look for um subscribe animated subscribe elements that we can use i think this looks nice and then we're going to position it where we want to place it or maybe we could put that right over here and then we're going to add an animated effect to it so we're going to click on animate and choose a specific animation effect that we want to apply to our video. My personal favorite is pop. Now we're going to add another element, say for example, a cursor. And we're going to 
look for an animated cursor that we can use. Or maybe this one would do. So we're going to place that over here. Position it properly. Right. Okay, and now we're going to add an animated effect to it. So let's click on animate. And then click on a certain animation that we'd like to use. I'd like to use baseline for this one. Okay. And you can keep on adding elements until you're happy with your green screen. And if you like to adjust the duration of this uh, page, you can click on this button over here and set the uh, number of seconds you'd like your um, page to be. So as for me, perhaps five seconds would be okay. Just a short example. And Okay, we're going to move on to the next step. The next step is to download our green screen. So we're going to go to the share button. We're going to click on download. And for the file type, make sure to select MP4. And if you're a Canva Pro user, you can adjust the quality of your um, design or your video. As for me, I like to keep it this way. 1080 pixels or HD would be fine. And once everything is done, click on download. So we're going to wait for it to completely download. And then we're going to try to edit it in another video editor. Okay, and we're going to save it. I'm going to type it, my Canva made green screen overlay. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my video editor. As for me, I'm using Shotcut. It's, a, it's an open source software that you can download and it's legally free. You can get it um, by Googling Shotcut. And as for me, I am going to, I'm going to press Ctrl plus O on my keyboard. And I'm going to navigate to the location of my um, saved file. So this is the file that we saved earlier. And I'm also going to um, select a video here that I can use, maybe a couple of videos, and then click on open. Now I'm going to add two video tracks. So I'm going to press Ctrl plus I on my keyboard. So this is where track video track number one would go. And this is um, where video, where the green screen should be. So first I'm going to select a video that I could use. Maybe this one's okay. So I'm going to add it to tr uh, video track number one or to video one. Now I'm going to drag my green screen over here and I am going to control plus C and then control plus V. Okay, perhaps that's fine. And now I'm going to click on this very first clip over here and I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to add chroma key simple. And here we can adjust the intensity of our chroma key. Okay, I think that should be fine. And I'd like to copy this um, filter to my other clip. So I'm going to click on this, copy the filters, go to the next clip and paste the filter. Do the same thing for the last clip. Okay, we're going to try to see how it looks like. There. We were able to make our very own green screen effect in Canva. So I guess that's all for today. We do hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. You have a great day.